In this lesson, we will discuss on how to graph quadratic function. Let's say we have f of x, or y is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 5. So first step, we need to find the vertex. So we have two possible ways. We write into vertex form, or use the formula. Okay, let us first rewrite into vertex form. Transpose 5 on the left side of the equation. So that is y minus 5 is equal to x squared minus 6x. The right side, make it into the perfect square trinomial. So y minus 5 is equal to x squared minus 6x plus what number we're going to to write as a constant term to make it a perfect square trinomial. So middle term divided by 2, so 6 divided by 2, then square. 3 square, that is 9. We add 9 on the right side of the equation, therefore, we need to add 9 on the left side of the equation. 9. Okay. Take note of that. If you're going to add a number on the right side, you should add that number on the left side also to make the equation balance. Now, simplify y negative 5 plus 4, that is positive 4, is equal to, this is now a perfect square trinomial. We can rewrite this as the square of a binomial that is equivalent to x sine of the middle term minus then the square root of the constant term 3 then square now our vertex form is y is equal to x minus 3 square transpose minus 4 then our vertex now is hk, so x is equal to 3. So our h is, so hk, that is 3 and negative 4. So this is now our vertex, or the turning point of the circle. Let us try to use using our formula. To find h, we have the formula negative b over 2a and k we have the formula 4ac minus b squared all over 4a okay let us substitute negative b so we have negative times negative 6 so that is negative times negative 6 over 2 times our a is 1. A. Negative times negative, that is positive 6, over 2 times 1, 2. And this is now equal to 3. Our h is 3. For k, 4 times 1 is, uh, a is 1. C is positive 5 minus B squared. So our B is negative 6 squared all over 4 times A is 1. So we now have 4 times 1. 4 times 1, that is 4 times 5. So this is 20. 20 minus negative 6 squared, that is 36, all over 4. 20 minus 36, that is negative 16, over 4, and this will give us negative 4. Negative 4 is equal to our k. So, 
they are the same. H is 3, K is negative 4. Since we have now the turning point, so that is in the middle part of our table of values, X is, X is our H, 3. Now, Y is negative 4. On the left side of 3, we have 2 and 1. And on the right side of 3, we have 4 and 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. If x is 1, what is the value of y? So let us substitute using our original given. So if x is equal to 1. So y is equal to 1 squared minus 6 times 1 plus 5. So 1 squared is 1 minus 6 times 1 plus 5. 1 minus 6, this is negative 5 plus 5. Negative 5 plus 5, 0. Okay. So if x is 1, y is 0. y is 0. Next, if x is 2, y is equal to 2 squared minus 6 times 2 plus 5. 2 squared is 4. Negative 6 times 2, negative 12 plus 5. 4 minus 12, that is negative 8, plus 5, negative 3. If x, if x is equal to 2, then y is negative 3. So write negative 3. Next, we have the value for x is equal to 3, y is equal to negative 4. Find x when x is equal to 4 so y is equal to 4 square minus 6 times 4 plus 5 4 square 16 negative 4 or negative 6 times 4 6 12 18 24 negative 24 plus 5 so, 16 plus 5, that is 21, minus 24, negative 3. So, y is negative 3, negative 3. If you can see the pattern, 2, negative 3, 4, negative 3, therefore, we can conclude that if x is equal to 5, y is equal to 0. Okay, let us check. If x is equal to 5, so we have y is equal to 5 squared, so that is 25, minus 6 times 5, that is 30 plus 5. So 25 plus 5, that is 30, minus 30 is 0. So this is our table of values. Now let us graph using our Cartesian plane. X is 1, Y is 0. X is 1, Y is 0. So the point is here. Next, 2, negative 3. So 2, then down to negative 3. This is our second point. Our turning point is 3, negative 4. 3, down to negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Then 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Down to negative 3. Then 5, 0. And this is now our parabola.
Okay. Our parabola opens upward because our A is greater than 0. So this is the graph of quadratic functions.